La guinguette, c'est bon. The guinguette is the place one goes to spend the weekend. We have a couple of public holidays in France, and we come here to find some sunshine, enjoy nature, and some bathing, and relax in the guinguettes along the Marne riverbank. We're really in a very special place in the French collective memory. It's right here on the banks of the rivers Marne and Seine, where we put the principle of freedom into practice. The freedom to sail, the freedom to take our time, the freedom to chill out, recharge our batteries and have fun. All that began in the 19th century. Just a stone's throw from Paris, the banks of the Marne have long been a favourite destination for Parisians wanting to get away. Local historian Frederick is passionate about these riverside pastimes that date back 200 years. At the beginning of the 19th century, in the 1840s, when we spoke of Joinville, it was paradise. When we talked about Agnières or Chateau, it was paradise. People come here to the banks of the rivers Seine and Marne for a little getaway in the country. In the beginning, Parisians flocked here to escape the capital's tax on wine. But it was also the time when city dwellers took to the water. Going out on the river in a boat began at the start of the 19th century. It was something that developed alongside the Romantic movement, and these little wooden boats became the first vehicle for couples to sit intimately face to face. They became associated with romantic desires. The city's carpenters quickly got to work, carving rowing boats and oars with expert know-how. You might think that because they're old, they're difficult to build. But on the contrary, with these French canoes, we have the best of Parisian industry. And then here with these French and Canadian canoes adapted by French builders in mahogany, we're at the summit of this art. This craftsmanship continued through 1910, the 1920s and 30s, and then it all stopped very quickly in the 1950s and 60s with the arrival of plastic. These little canoes became Parisians' preferred way of cruising the river. People from Paris come here to have fun, to enjoy a drink and maybe meet a partner. And of course, these wooden boats are the perfect way to hop from one ganguette to another or from one ball to another. These rowing boats are really the perfect vehicle for a Sunday out on the river. Long before people came to meander down the Marne, they first came to eat, drink and dance in one of the many dance halls along the riverbank, known as a ganguette. Chez Gégen is one of the oldest ganguettes in Nogent, a place to relax and unwind for nearly 150 years, a source of inspiration for the Impressionists who painted many works here. One example is perhaps Le Déjeuner des Canotiers by Renoir. The specific development of the Seine and Marne riverbanks at that time was linked to the development of public transport and Joinville and Nogent both benefited from the building of the Paris-Bastille line, which brought Parisians from working-class neighborhoods right out to the countryside, where one was totally cut off from the hectic life of the city. And so a new era began, as people left their stuffy middle-class interiors for the joys of an open-air fete. Dancing remains the main activity of these ganguettes. And there's nothing else nearby which offers as much entertainment. You can cycle, dance in the open air, stroll in the countryside, a whole host of things you can't find at home. Between Joinville and Nogent, there were some 100 ganguettes right up until the 1970s. There were two golden ages, in fact. The first was between the two world wars, a time when people were looking to forget their worries and go crazy. And then there was the development after 1935, 1936, when paid holidays were introduced and a weekly day of rest. So this became a key place at a time when the offer of services was relatively limited. Today, Parisians remain firmly attached to this tradition with a nostalgia for a former carefree time. 
What's specifically French is this maritime fantasy world that's been transported to Paris. Right here, a whole leisure industry developed, and it was really a way of life. And the boats were the thing that helps people escape the city. The Ganguette is above all the place where a passion for life should reign where you find entertainment that's certainly very different from what you can get elsewhere.